Hi there, so in this short video, I'm just going to show you where the EFT tapping points are located, because I know it's something that people really kind of worry about, um, that they're getting the right place and that they're doing it right. Um, but the reassuring thing is, you, you more than likely are doing it right. It's just um, sometimes we need that little bit of extra reassurance. And just to say as well, that when you first start tapping, like there's no getting away from it, it feels pretty weird. <laughs> I mean, you're tapping on your face. It does feel a bit strange, but you do quickly get used to it. And most importantly, of course, it does actually work. So the point that we start with in EFT is um, the karate chop point. So if you can imagine karate chop higher. <laughs> and it literally runs down. You just run down the side of your little finger on this sort of fleshy padded area here. Okay, that's the first point. Now, people also worry about which fingers to use. Should I just use two? Should I use three? Do I use all of them? <laughs> and it doesn't really matter too much. The most important thing is that you are using this middle finger because that's quite important in EFT. Um, so you can use just two fingers if you want to. You can use three, you can use four, or a or variation of either of those. Now, the points tend to go in order just so that it's kind of easier for you to remember. But again, actually, it doesn't really matter too much if you miss one or if you skip one or if you get muddled up in any way. That's completely OK. You don't need to worry about it too much. But after the karate chop points, what tends to happen is next you move on to the eyebrow point, which is located just at the side of the nose, uh, just where the kind of eyebrow comes in line here. OK, and um, you can tap if you want to on both sides or you can tap just on one side. I tend to just tap on one side myself. Um, the next one is you just move round to the side of the eye. So not quite central here because you don't want to be sort of tapping directly on your temple. Just where the kind of bony area is just on the side of your eye in line with your pupil. And then the next one is under the eye, again, in line with your pupil, just on the kind of bone here. Tap that. And then under the nose. So literally just sort of central under the nose there. This one feels a bit weird because especially when you're speaking, <laughs> that one takes a little bit of getting used to. And that one can be a bit of a pain if you've got glasses on as well. So you might want to remove your glasses if you can't access it very easily. And that's that one. So yeah, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> under the eye, under the nose, uh, chin point. So this is just central between the bottom of your lip and the bottom of your chin, just in the dip there, the chin point. And then you've got the collarbone point. So this one, if you kind of feel where your collarbones are, you're going to sort of just under that area, you can sort of feel the central point here is like a little almost horseshoe shape here. So we're just sort of tapping around that area. I tend to use all my fingers and thumbs for that one. Just sit up there. Um, and then the next one, again, feels a bit strange because you're actually tapping under your arm. So basically, this one is kind of in line with your bra strap or your nipple, uh, depending on whether you're male or female. And then we're just tapping there. Again, I use all my fingers for that one, but just use what's most comfortable for you. Um, and then finally, you've got the top of the head points. Um, and again, I use all my fingers here just to tap on the top of the head. And then you'd normally go around again. So you go to eyebrow points, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone, under the arm, top of the head. Okay, so that's all the points. Now, also with regards to the tapping pressure. So you want to tap kind of gently but firmly, I guess is the best way to describe it. So um, enough that you can feel it, but not enough that you're kind of smashing, <laughs> smashing your um, karate chop point. So it's just nice kind of gentle pressure just when you're tapping. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to you. Take care.